Hi, I'm Bryony, and we get you through this practice today. So let's go ahead and just bring our hands together in front of our hearts and close down our eyes. Close down our awareness into our bodies. Let's just start to withdraw your senses from the external world. And start to arrive into your practice, your sadhana today. Just let the sit bones rest in towards the mat or the ground. And just feel a lightness that calls up through the spine. And just start to hear, sense and feel the breath as the breath moves in and as the breath moves out. Just allow your awareness, your internal vision, your internal eye to tune into the sound of your breath, the sensation of your breath. Let's just begin to watch the dance of the inhale and the exhale. Start to engage Ujjayi Pranayama. Ujjayi Pranayama is when we put a little constriction in the back of the throat. So we start to hear the ocean within our own cells. So hear that rise of the ocean and fall. And get swept away into the sound of your own prana, your own breath today. Set the intention to be here with your breath in this practice today. And set a devotion for your practice in honour of bhakti yoga. And just devote this practice to someone you love today. Allowing your actions to be selfless. And we'll start our practice with, or oh, to the sound of Om. So maybe you want to see the person that you devoted your practice today. And imagine them receiving the vibration of this beautiful sound. Straight over your toes, come into your tabletop position. Fingertips in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips. We're going to take a round of cat and cow. So inhale, pull the breast forward, hug the elbows in. Slightly bend the elbows, pull the chest up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your toes, round into your spine, and then hover the knees off the ground and curl towards your navel. Lower down the knees, hug the elbows in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale, look up towards the end of your nose. Exhale, this time lift the hips up and back, keep the legs bent, start to go in a bent legged downward facing dog, gaze goes towards the navel. And then lower down the knees, inhale, pull the chest forward, pull the heart forward, look up to the end of your nose. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Maybe start to stretch your legs a little bit more as the body starts to respond to the movement. We've got one more round. Inhale, hug the elbows and look forward, pull the breast forward, forward, pull the gaze up. Exhale, hips go up and back. And then arrive into your downward facing dog. Maybe you want to pad through the legs. Maybe you want to bend the legs. Or maybe you just want to be in stillness as you connect the mind and the breath and the body together as well. So just feel the breath moving into the body and moving through. And if you meet any tightness, we call them grunties. If you meet any grunties, any blocks in your body, can you just guide the prana into those areas? Not to change it. Let's just use it like a little balm, like a massage balm for those areas of tightness. One more breath here. Good, inhale, come onto the tops of the toes, bend the legs, look forward. Find yourself at the front of the mat. We bring the feet together in line with the hips, it's completely up to you. Bring the hands in positions, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, draw the navel in, lift the thigh muscles up. Exhale, fold, bring the heart down towards your shins. If you need to bend the leg, then bend the legs. Otherwise, start to elongate through the spine and through the thigh. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine again. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Bring the hands out to the side. Stand all the way up, look up towards your face. Sink the heels down towards the ground. Draw the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down, look up towards your face. Exhale, fold all the way back down towards your toes again. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, rippling through the spine. Today, you're going to heel toe your feet, open up your toes, sit down into your malasana. Drop your bum down, bring your chest up, press your elbows into your inner thighs, press palms together. Feel that beautiful elongation through the spine as you open up the knees to the mat behind you. Take one more breath here. 
Mm, place the hands down, just step the left leg back, keep the right leg where it is, so you're in a version of lizard lunge. Send the breastbone forward, send the back heel back, open up the chest to the sky. Step back into your high plank, lower down your knees, lower down your chin to the ground, lower down your chest to the ground, look to the front of the mat. Ripple your body forward into Bhujangasana. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders together at your back. Curl through that spine, tuck the toes under, lift up and back into downward facing dog. Just meet your downward dog for a breath. Breath is in, breath is up. Float the right leg up towards the sky. It can be higher, it can be low, step it to the front of the mat. This time, drop your left leg down. Inhale, lift up into Anjali Asana. Bring the palms together, open any tightness in the shoulders and separate the arms. Drop the shoulders down the back, open up the heart just for a breath. Place the hands down around the front foot. Lift the back foot to the front foot, coming to half your lift, hands on the ground or the shins. Exhale, fold the heart towards yourself, gaze to the navel. Inhale, sink the heels down, rise tall, look all the way up towards your foot, soften your shoulders. Exhale, fold all the way back down towards your toes again, bend or stretch the legs. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, half we lift. Heel to the feet, open up the feet, come into your malasana, sink your bum down, send the chest forward, press palms together. Place the hands down, this time step the right leg to the back, come to version of lizard lunge. Power through the back heel, extend the chest forward, press the palms into the ground. Step back into your high plank. Lower down your chin, lower down your chest, lower down your knees. Elbows hug in. Pull the heart forward into Bhujangasana. Lift the end of your nose, push your feet down. Roll up and back. Downward facing dog, just for a breath. Breath is in, breath is up. Extend the left leg up, it could be high or it doesn't be high, it's up to you. Step it to the front of the mat, drop the back knee down. Inhale, pull the belly and the heart up, look up towards your prayer. Place the hands down around the front foot, step the back foot to the front, lengthen through the spine, arrive. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise tall. Breath and body moving together as well. Inhale is up, soften shoulders. Exhale, bow towards yourself, towards your practice, to your body. Inhale, half your left, lengthening through the spine. Heel to the feet, come into that malasana. Sink the sit bones down, spill the breastbone forward. Place the hands down, step the left leg to the back. This time, roll onto the blade edge of your left toes. Maybe roll your tight right toes out a little bit more. Inhale, extend and lift through the fingertips, look up towards your right hand. Breathe, pull the navel in. Reach the fingertips forward, pop into your right ribs. Place the hands all the way down, come into a runner's lunge. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, swing the arms up, Anjali Asana, palms together or open them up, it's up to you. Take a little heart opening here. Place the hands all the way down, bring your right hand into the inside of the foot. Bring your left hand up. Stay here for a breath. Open the heart to the sky. This time, tuck your back toe under, place your back foot down, come into a version of side angle. Continue to open up through your chest and look towards your middle fingers. Lift the hip bones up to meet the ribs, extend through the spine, extend through the spine, extend through the spine. Now look down towards your middle finger. Flick your toes so that your right toes come to your right butt cheek. Hold it here. Lengthen through the spine. That knee is just on the back of the tricep. Hold. Three. Two. Place the left hand down, come into a high plank with your knee up by your armpit. Option to stay here or option to come into Ekka Padra two. Take your options, then step back or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Arrive into your downward dog, sink the heels down, lengthen through the spine. Find a moment of stillness, just you and your breath. Breath moves in. Breath moves up. And float that right leg up, three legged dog. Try and keep the hips nice and square, flex with both feet. Pull the knee to the front of the mat, rounding into the spine, look forward, step it down. Inhale, come up to a crescent lunge. Make sure the navel's lifting up, but the ribs hugging towards the lower belly. Exhale, half room lift at the front of the mat, flat back, fold. Inhale, rise tall, Urdhva Hastasana, sink the heels down, draw the navel in. Fold straight back down towards your toes again. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Heel to the feet, find your malasana, open up the toes, drop the sit bone, hug 
the elbows in towards the inner thighs, lift through the chest. Place the hands down, set the right leg back, come into your lizard lunge. Extend the breastbone forward, then continue to roll onto the right foot, and then you turn the left foot out a little bit more. Lift the left hand up, look to the left fingertips. Arrive. Feel the elongation through the back heel all the way to the crown of the head. Rotate the lower ribs towards the sky. Inhale, reach, then reach your hands forward towards the front of the room. Good, place the hands all the way down. Drop your back knee down, swing the palms up, press palms together, Anjali Asana, or maybe you're taking a variation that works for your body today, maybe take a little back bend here. Bring the palms in towards the heart. Bring the left hand down, rotate the right fingertips towards the sky, opening up that twist to stay here for a breath. Tuck back toes under, stretch the back leg, place the back foot onto the ground, opening it up, external rotation of the back thigh, then open up the heart towards the sky, look up towards those middle fingers. Extend through the spine, extend through the spine, then extend through the spine. Press the back heel into the ground, extend through the spine. One more breath. Look down towards your front hand. Flick your left toes to your left butt cheek, then elongate through the spine. Hug that knee up, hug the knee up, hug the knee up as high as possible for three, two, ujjayi breath, one. Bring the right hand down. Either stay here with the knee at the armpit or shift the weight forward, bend and shift the around the arms, stretch the legs and the body with the knees. And now two, take a little back bend through your chest. You're going to make your way into downward facing dog through vinyasa or just straight up and back. Find yourself in that downward facing dog. Find your stillness. Deep breath in. Send the sit bones up, up and back. Two more breaths. Inhaling, exhaling, press the palms into the ground, lengthen through the spine, inhale. Good, go ahead and walk your hands to the back of your mat so your hands come onto your ankles. Find your halfway lift and then bring your hands behind the backs of the calves. Exhale, just slide the hands down the backs of the calves, pull yourself towards yourself. If that means you have to bend the legs and bend the legs. Otherwise, keep the legs straight, lengthen the head down and just pull your heart towards yourself. Pull into that stillness, withdraw your senses, find the stillness of the mind and just be here in your fold, just experience this fold, whatever it brings up for you. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, halfway lift, bring the hands to the front of the shins, lengthen through the spine. Walk the hands forward, come all the way back into your downward facing dog. Find your downward dog. Bring the left hand to the right ankle, take a little twist, look under your armpit. Mm -hmm. Sink your heels down, press your chest through. Then to the other side. Bring the hand down, bring your right hand to your ankle, or maybe a little bit higher depending on your body. Then just twist, look up towards your armpit, send the chest through the heels down. Then come all the way back towards the front of the mat. Lower down your knees, come into your tabletop. Keep your knees in line to your hips, you're going to come into Anahatasana. So just keep your knees here, walk your fingertips forward, drop your chest down to the ground. Maybe your forehead comes to the ground, maybe your chin comes to the ground. Pick the option that works for you. Three big, beautiful breaths here. Breath in. Imagine someone just guiding the back of your heart down towards the mat. One more breath. Come all the way forward into your sphinx pose middle finger in line with your elbow. Just take a moment here, roll the breastbone forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together at your back, lift the nose, lengthen the tailbone to your heels. Two breaths here, breathing in and out. Lower all the way down onto your bosom, bend your feet, grab the outside of your feet, flex the feet if it's available, roll the shoulder heads open. Take a breath in, and a breath out. You're going to come into down your asana. So kick the feet back, open up the chest, look up, kick the feet back, keep kicking the feet back, knees together as much as possible. Three, send the heart up. Two, go up a little bit higher. Exhale all the way down. Good. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, extend the legs, hug the elbows in, take your bhujang asana. Exhale into bal asana, find your child's pose. Take a nice big deep breath in here, and a big deep breath out. Another big deep breath in through the spine. 
and down. Coming to your tabletop position, bring your right foot all the way forward, bring your ankle forward, come into your pigeon pose, sitting up in pigeon pose, flex the front foot. Bring the back toes back. If you can't get your bum onto the ground, then stick something like a cushion or a block underneath your bum. That's just going to protect your front knee. Take a moment here to puff up your pigeon. Puff up the pigeon, pull the right hip back, left hip forward, and take a little opening of that chest. Exhale, walk your hands down, bring the hands down, but then notice if your weight goes into your knees, press the palms into the ground like downward dog and bring your weight out of your knees. We've just got three breaths here. Inhale into your pigeon. Exhale, and go as far as you can go today. It's not about the depth, but the intimacy to the posture. Find your intimacy to your truth. One more breath. Wiggle it all the way up, bring your hands all the way up, take that little puff again. Puff, 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 take a little back down. Pull the chin in, shift your weight onto that front leg, bring the back leg around, just take a twist. Inhale is up, exhale, look to the left, twist around, just two breaths, in and out. In and out. Feel it forward, give it a little twist in the other way. Then you're ready to go on the other side, so that left leg's going to come down, right leg's going to swing to the back. Square up the pelvis as much as possible. Your foot, your foot might be closer to, the, to your pubic bone than me, it just depends on your body and the, the placing of your bones, really. And then just take a moment to square up the hips. So you want to have the left hip going back and the right hip going forward here. Press the palms into the ground, just squeeze the shoulder blades, just puff your pigeon. You know when a pigeon goes in a bath and then it goes and it puffs the pigeon, so puff the pigeon. Then exhale, forward fold over that front leg, bring the hands down, drop the head down. Three breaths here, big deep breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Keep that connection to the breath. Keep withdrawing your senses into your body. Just be in your body today. Still the mind into the motion. Send the breath into the body. Go ahead, walk the heads up. Lift up, puff the pigeon again. Maybe go a little bit deeper this time. Open up that chest. Lift the heart. Pull the chin and pull the belly. Take the back leg, swing it forward, cross it around. Inhale, bring the hands up. Draw the elbow in, twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale is up, exhale is around. Two breaths. Then look forward, twist in the opposite direction. Just for a breath. Look all the way forward. Good, bring the soles of your feet together. Open up the feet into Baddha Konasana. Take your peace fingers, grab your big toes, roll the shoulders up and down, lift up through the spine. Inhale is up. Exhale, press the elbows into the thighs, bring the breastbone forward. So we don't want to do a rounding spine here, we need to find a really nice opening through the spine. So send the chest forward, press your elbows into your thighs to open up the thighs. Three breaths here, breathe in, breathe out, just you and your breath. Hear your breath. Inhale is up. Pull the knees in, draw the navel in, extend the arms up. We're going to roll it down onto our back. So rolling onto our back for five. Draw the belly in, rolling down for four. Draw the belly in, rolling down for three. For two. Pause at one. Pause at one. Shoulder blades off, lengthen through the back of the neck. Draw that navel in towards the spine for three. Two. One. Exhale into Shavasana. Extend the feet. Extend the palms to the corners of the mat. Just let the palms rest up. Just allow the back of the head to sink into the ground. The backs of the shoulders to melt. Allow the belly to rise and then as you exhale, allow the back of the spine to sink into the mat. Allow your glutes to spread. Let your thigh bones and your thigh muscles to release your ankles and your toes. And just allow your body this moment of stillness. Just allow your mind to find stillness. As you come into your Shavasana, Shavasana is the place of surrender. The place of practicing of letting go of all material and all other possessions. So allow yourself to let go of the planning. Allow yourself to let go of what comes next and what's already been. 
and just find yourself here, letting go into your mat. Take a big deep breath into your belly. Feel your belly press up towards the sky. Exhale through the mouth. Just begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Stretch the hands up over our head. Point your toes away. Create space in your body. Pull the knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Mm. Hug of appreciation of approval. Rock back. Rock forward, come all the way up into your seated position. This is your final seat of stillness. Bring the palms together in front of your heart, just arriving back where you started. Just allow the sit bones to soften. Allow the hip bones to open. Allow yourself to meet stillness here. Allow yourself to meet the breath. And to just continue to meet the vibration of the breath. The rise and fall of the breath. Watch how it moves into the body and moves out. Gently bow the head towards yourself and just take a moment of gratitude for this short and sweet practice that you were able to give yourself today. For all that you've accomplished and for all the joy that you have in your life. From your heart, remember your devotion. Maybe say a prayer or a warm wish and send it out to your loved one. Maybe take this time to set an intention for the rest of your day. Bring the chin up off the chest and we'll close our, prior, our practice together to the sound of Aum. Inhale. Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya. Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you for practicing with me today and enjoy the rest of your day.